I'm in the waiting game again. I just uh, returned from the supermarket just sort of halfway at home and I want to get some grog at the bottle shop but of course it's too early. It's about uh, 9.40 in the morning so it doesn't open until 10. Just to get yourself a bottle of red wine or something. It's, uh, I don't want to actually have to walk out again, although I'm not feeling that bad. I'm definitely feeling better than I had for a while. So, uh, I don't feel like I've got jelly legs, which is nice. I feel a little bit more sword underfoot, which is good. And as you can hear the excremental music in the background. Uh, lots of um, work happening out on the footpaths as uh, the block just just through that direction there there's a pub on the right and a uh, hostel on the left which used to be a pub as well and they're doing a lot of work there and I, you can only walk on the right hand side because of all the uh, footpath work taking place and there were three council workers um, whose main job seemed to be block my way through the pedestrian uh, pathway that they'd made because they didn't seem to be doing anything else apart from that having a bit of a chat uh, it's all right for some. I mean, everyone's had jobs where it's been slack from time to time, but uh, I guess they're sort of exposed to the public more, so they get more stick. Um, but, you know, I still do believe that a lot of the building work up here is on a, on a go slow. The, the amount of time it's taken to renovate this particular uh, plaza so that Woolworths can trade here is just ridiculous. But, yeah. Well, it's, it's good that it looks as though we're finally going to be able to travel in the state. They say but in, to go down to Victoria before Christmas, which would be pretty amazing. I won't be ca having Christmas with my cousin though, because um, uh, it'll be too expensive to fly at such short notice. It'll be, it'll, it'll be chockers with bookings, I'm sure. Um, I tell you, I wish I'd bought um, uh, uh, shares in Qantas uh, in around um, March when they re all the shares slumped. I think they went down to two bucks. Now they're about five dollars something so and I think they used to be about seven so that'd be, that'd be amazing profit in, in uh, Bot Bertsy. I did think about it but I didn't act you know. Although I've got to say Combank shares have recovered really well because of the, uh, the, the talk of a vaccine that seems to have really given the uh, stock market spur even test Telstra shares have gone up. They're still way down on what I bought them at. Um, I'll tell you what, if I was buying, I wonder if I found a place I really liked down in the, um, in around Trendy Beach, one of the beaches, uh, I could actually convert my shares into uh, cash, even if I had to take a loss, at least it would clean out my portfolio, which would be good. Um, but I do probably need to do something like that uh, because that the the Tel Telstra shares have been a bit of a burden to me. They've been, um, yeah, they've been hanging over me for a while, and they've, and they've been in loss virtually since I bought them. So it would be uh, good for the portfolio if I change things around. Uh, they're a bit of a dog. I've got a few few shares that are really bad, doing badly. The um, the ones uh, uh, for the uh, retirement builders have died. In fact, so I, think. I don't know why they're so far down. They've, Chapara, they've really done poorly, and that was the advice of that young kid uh, who had a um, who had a, uh, a web page, and he, he recommended them because they were going in an expansion phase. But just shows you how fickle the stock market is. Um, yeah, but I'd really like to clean out a bit of my portfolio because there's, there's a lot of underperforming crap there that I need to get rid of, and you can make the fatal mistake of just holding on to shares too long. So. Oh, Red Flow is another one. It's a total dog. I, I, I bought some Red Flow, not much, because one of the guys who actually ran the place used to run a very good ISP in South Australia. But um, I don't think Red Red Flow, which is a um, it's a way of, of, of uh, storing energy in, using a liquid, um, it just doesn't seem to be taking off. Uh, they've got plants out around the world, but they don't seem to be doing anything. Lithium shares aren't doing well either, and you think that there'd be a huge demand for lithium, but there are a few supplies around. So, yeah, it's, it's tough. It's tough picking winners at time, but gee, I wish I bought those uh, Qantas shares. Because eh? they, I'm thinking they're the one airline that's going to survive a, a downturn because they've just got quite a lot of capitalization. Alan Joyce is a bit of a, a ruthless CEO. I don't like the guy personally, but 
I think as a businessman, he's probably someone the shareholders would like. But, uh, so anyway, missed opportunities. You got plenty. You get stories about them from every person investing about missed opportunities. It's like punters on the race. It's the same deal. So nothing new there. Anyway, I wonder how much time I've killed having a chat here. So let's see how we're going. The magic 10 o'clock. It is a bit humid outside. Um, 9.43, so 17 minutes and they'll be open. It'll take me a couple of minutes to get up there, so I'll hang around here for another 13 minutes and then I'll make a move. It's a lot better hanging out here than upstairs near the supermarket. And I haven't had a guy begging uh, come up to me yet. Just some annoying kid who jumped onto the um, onto the seat. That's about it. So. Anyway, uh, oh, I was going to get some premium biscuits and um, crackers from uh, Woolworths because they're the only ones who sell them. The uh, Coles doesn't sell them anymore, and they're, they're down. They're on special for two dollars, but there's no stock. It's damn annoying when you've got something on special and there's just nothing on the shelf. But anyway, so it does happen at Woolworths as well as Coles, but it happens more often at Coles, I think. I don't know why the gates are shut, but there's a. An engine down there doing nothing. I don't know, they're going away from here, I think. But I don't know why the gates have to be shut here. It doesn't make sense. What does make sense in this world? Not much. You only get uh, the normal train twice a day in the morning and the uh, late afternoon. I don't know, this guy's just doing some maintenance or something, but they're holding up all the traffic for no apparent reason. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Finally coming back now. There's a bike rider just before me. He just gave up and went down the other way. He's fed up with it. Don't blame him, but I don't know they have the option. This is something I didn't expect. This is about a little after 10 o'clock in the morning, and you've got this dickhead holding up all the traffic for again what are they doing oh finally they're at the gates i figured someone obviously has overridden the, the automatic service it's just absurd now it's monday and i'm heading off towards the esplanade which uh, is quite nice I'm, i never go down there funny enough even so i live here it's a part of the city i never really look at so i'm gonna catch up with uh couple of people I met via my site. We're going to have a final drink down at the... Uh... Anyway, that's the uh, look. It's quite attractive. It's a nice day today. Bit of a breeze. It was about 32 yesterday. It's quite warm. As a matter of fact, uh, people I met up with were complaining about the, the heat and they're from uh, Sunshine Coast. So they felt it was quite humid. It was warm, I wouldn't say terrible. I mean, I've, I've encountered 42 degree heat in summer here, so that's uh, yeah, pretty bad. But uh, yeah, here's the, the Esplanade. Very nice. Nice bit of shade here too, and the hospital's just over there. It's actually you know, a great location hospital. I actually had to spend one night there a few months back and I uh, had a great view and actually the food was good too it's some of the best uh, hospital food I've encountered so but uh, well there is a little bit of a beach there I always thought there's no beach along here but there actually is a little bit it's mainly mud flats as you go further down though so actually I'll cut across to that pathway but uh, yeah, it's a very attractive area. There's the hospital there, uh, and annex to the hospital. That might be a hotel further along there, I think. I'm not sure. And the old helicopter's doing its usual shuttle service. So there must be some tourists around. Well, the people I know are, are shopping down near uh, the pier area. So. Uh, yeah, there's plenty of people, people bike riding, so it's, it's a good lifestyle. I just haven't felt physically up to really enjoying it that much recently. 
you can see the beach is gone now there's no beach now it's just rocks and like I say mud flats and it, and the tides obviously in at the moment because when it's out it looks pretty it doesn't look that attractive but at the moment we've got water there so it looks a lot better uh, I probably should be heading over towards where the uh, trees are there so I might do, might do a right hand turn here get a bit more shade a little exposed here at the moment it's not too bad so I think that's the volleyball courts coming up here uh, it's a good place to play volleyball. The trouble is there's some quite good volleyball players. They totally put me to shame the last time I tried, which was probably about four or five years ago. Please uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you think there's anything there of, uh, of use to you or entertainment or whatever. And uh, either give do that or give me a thumbs up or, or if you're feeling really energetic, do both. That'd be great. Uh, but uh, please don't ignore me, that's the worst thing you can do on YouTube, is be ignored.